Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today is part 2, part 2 of the newly redesigned Home Tour user interface. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! My name is Lazarus K, and welcome to part 2, I mean part 2, of the guided tour of the newly redesigned Oculus Quest Home user interface. Today we're going to be looking at how to change your Wi-Fi settings as well as your privacy settings and your home environment as well. So without further ado, oh by the way, part one is in the link <laughs> description below. Let's go. All right, let's go back to the settings where I can show you a few things. So of course the other thing that you're going to be required to do, although you should have done this already during the installation process, is knowing where your Wi-Fi is because you may go to a friend's house or a different location and you you know will want to change the Wi-Fi settings. So all you have to do is click here. I'm not going to click because it will stop the recording for security reasons. And then once you click on this, a new pop-up will come up. And then all you have to do is change the details and the Wi-Fi that you're connected to. Now to know what everything does, all you have to do is mouse over and then it will tell you what is happening. So mute microphone. For example, if I don't want the microphone to work, here we can change to a night display. So night display, everything goes a bit more yellow. It can be a bit more harsh on the eyes, by the way. So I generally tend to leave it to, to day mode. And there's also a do not disturb, which is great because it means that people uh, can't disturb you whilst you're in act actually in the game. So they can't invite you to a party or something like that. And then you can also reset your view. So when you click on this, it will basically, when you move your head, the UI will move your head with you and then all you have to do is click on confirm and then the UI will stay wherever you clicked confirmed on. The other thing that you can do is you can adjust the brightness here. So to adjust it, you just click and hold your trigger and then there you go. So of course, the less bright, the more battery you will conserve and the longer your quest will last. And then also you can adjust the volume directly from here as well, as opposed to uh, clicking on the buttons which are underneath the Oculus Quest headset. So let's stay in the settings very quickly. So if we go to device, uh, device, there are other settings that you can do as well. So basically, if you look at the quick actions, everything is summarized here, but then in device, everything is basically broken down. But inside the device, you can also change other things. For example, the language, and you can also change your privacy here. So this is pretty important. Uh, generally speaking, my real name is fine. I will let anyone know what my name is. But for my activity, I only put me and also my friends list, I only put myself. So this is just my personal preference. Of course, you may have different preferences. Uh, the other thing is you can change all your notification settings here. So my activity, I don't put on. My friends activity, I don't put on. Codes, credits, recommendations. I basically, sales and promotions, I do leave them on because it's nice to know when there's a discount. Uh, tips, messages, I generally don't want to be disturbed, so I just disable absolutely everything. Before I share with you some last tips, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which is all about the unboxing of Cyber Shoes. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. All right, let's look at virtual environment. Now, great news to you if you're new to the Oculus Quest. Yes, you can change your home environment to anything that you want at your heart's desire. Hit the bell notification and subscribe button because I'll be uploading a video very soon about how to customize your home environment using your own VR 360 images and much more. However, in version 16, there is something new. Some of you might be aware of this already. Oculus have provided us the ability to use our own home, our own home our own room, our own office, wherever you might be, as your actual home environment. Now, this could actually be very useful, especially if you want to see what's going on around whilst you're in the settings and all these kind of things. Or maybe you want to talk to someone or you have a pet running around or something, or you have your baby or your child somewhere. I don't know, whatever. It's nice to be able to see outside of your Oculus Quest whilst you're in your home environment. And this makes the Oculus Quest the world's first true mixed reality consumer headset that people already have because it will superimpose all the different AR things in your home environment. So let's just click on apply with the trigger and then boom. Now you can see my studio uh, whilst my actual 
panel and use your interface is here also. Of course, it's not in color because the cameras are in black and white. So I don't think we'll ever have color with this Oculus Quest. Perhaps with the next Oculus Quest, it will be done much better. However, the resolution will undoubtedly get better as time goes by. So you can also go to Quest Dome, which is basically the standard one. It's the first ever um, home that came with the Oculus Quest when we first got it. Classic Home came later on, and then also Winter Lodge. Winter Lodge, sorry, came later on as well, which is a really cool environment. I really do like the Winter Lodge a lot. It's so nice and classy. And also Space Station. So Space Station is quite new. As you can see, I have to download it. So I clicked on download and it will take whatever time to download. Generally, it's pretty fast. Uh, it seems that it's downloaded already. No, it's installing, okay. So it will just take a few minutes to install and I can show you what it looks like. So as I mentioned before, I will be uploading a video about how to customize your home environment using your own media. So let's just click apply and boom, we're in the space station. Look at this. Wow, this is very, very cool. I like this a lot. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in VR because ultimately that is what it's about. Hit the bell so you get notified when I will be uploading part three, which will be very soon. Until next time, high five to you. Oh, high five to you. Take it easy as always, DJ, music, take it away.